you know what yeah i don't know what to call this one maybe be willing to work for free or virtually nothing the money will come one day but this video definitely pertains around you know that short-term mindset and that quick buck mentality this video definitely is centered around that sort of mentality so i was just going back and forth with a man on instagram like i said in previous videos before now and then i get the younger man them hitting me up on instagram to ask for advice on getting an apprenticeship and man always give out free advice in here i don't charge um and the man them always appreciative of it and i always say to them anytime hit me up don't matter if it's two three times four 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 or five times a day hit me up i'll give you free advice in here as long as i've got the time to do it uh and one of the men that's hit me up recently today i said yeah man respect for that because he's tried to get in contact with quite a few different people i don't know if it's organizations or individuals and or both and everyone's trying to charge him for a little simple advice so obviously the first thing he's done is asked me about an apprenticeship how to get an apprenticeship and i've sent him over my apprenticeships video uh, that video is more than useful i go in depth 24 minutes of just drilling it home and in that video i'm talking about how to get an apprenticeship from scratch talking about man's gcse's um talking about obviously where to go to apply for a course and then where to go to apply for an apprenticeship and if you don't get the apprenticeship what's the alternative because let's face it right now there's more people going for apprenticeships than there are apprenticeships available therefore not everyone is going to get an apprenticeship well, what's the alternative you can't tell a man well you're just going to be a qualified electrician with no experience no the alternative is you can go on a construction site build up your mvq portfolio and get paid as a electrical mate or a plumbing mate or a plasterer's mate it's not the same as an apprenticeship but you come out with the exact same qualification obviously ideally it's better to get an apprenticeship so anyway my man said to me you know, respect for that the car. Everyone else is trying to charge him and that, isn't it? And I think to myself, people need to stop charging unnecessarily. Like, everyone wants to try and get paid today. There is no such thing as getting paid today. Yeah, you might get paid a little bit today, but the real money comes in the future. Stop trying to get paid today. This is why people start businesses, start YouTube channels. They don't get the results they want. And they drop off, they abandon. Yeah, they abort mission. Man, them and, and, and the gallum as well need to stop trying to make quick money. Stop trying to get results straight away. You know how many people start YouTube channels? They upload one video, two videos. They only get 50, 60 subscribers and they give up. Because they think in their head, and I, I feel like this as well. Oh, when I drop that one video and then the next day I'm going to have... 100,000 views on it off the back of that 50,000 uh, subscribers. It don't work that way. It does not work that way. You've got to be willing to work for free or virtually nothing. If I never had that mentality of being willing to work for virtually nothing, I wouldn't be where I am today. You think you would be able to see these brick tiles in the corner if I thought like this? If I weren't willing to work for virtually nothing, i.e. when I was an apprentice, working for like £5 an hour, about £37 a day, do you think I would have gained the skills and knowledge to then be able to become qualified, go on and do an inspection and testing course, so up my credentials, so that I can work a job where I'm getting paid £300 a day? I'm not saying every contract I go on to, I'll get paid £300 a day, but at least... 250 easily if it's a really shit contract that i'm just going on for two weeks to pass time then yeah maybe 220 a day if i never decided to oh you know work for virtually nothing five pound an hour 37 pound a day i want to be in this position i wouldn't have this property you've got to be willing to work for virtually nothing the money will come If you think about getting paid today, getting paid today, getting paid today, and you don't have a passion for something as well, you're going to fade out. You know how many men back in the day, now obviously this can't happen now, 
because obviously all legislation and health and safety and all that nonsense. But you know how much man have actually become qualified electricians, plumbers, gas engineers, whatever, plaster, carpenter, just by turning up to a construction site and offering to work for free. With no qualifications, nothing like that, not passing, no exams or anything like that. Now obviously there probably are some people that will, but not real proper construction sites because of all, as I said, health and safety legislation and that. There are people that will still take people on for free. You gotta be willing to do it. You gotta be willing to work for free or virtually nothing. The money will come. Everyone wants quick results. Everyone wants the end result today. It don't work that way. I know people talking about art. Oh, like, bear YouTubers were talking about, oh, set up YouTube channel and then pay for promotion. No, man, not paying for no promotion. Putting in the hard work, making every a video once a week or two, three videos a week for the first six months. That's the fucking promotion. It's the grind. When I bought my property around the corner, 15 minutes away from me, and I was grinding on that property. It took me way too long though, on it, like a year to complete. Uh, that was due to my lack of knowledge on how to fit a bathroom and do plumbing. Plus no one wanted to help me. Um, I didn't care really that it took that long because in my head I'm thinking this property is gonna be worth it in five years when it's gone up in value. Man bought the property knowing and not really caring about getting money from the rent straight away. First and foremost, because the property has only cost me £106 per month. So I didn't really care about making any money from rent. I didn't care that the property is going to sit down there for at least six months unoccupied. Because in my head, when I bought the property, I bought it for the sole purpose of it going up in value after five years. Then I sell it. Now I'm reviewing that. I think to myself, hmm... That capital gains tax is mad, you know, but if you've got a good accountant and they know how to get me, um, you know, do the numbers properly and that, you might not have to pay that much capital gains tax. But when I first bought that property, I was thinking to myself, yeah, five years, I'm not even worried about the rental income, I don't even care. As long as it's breaking even or it ain't really putting a hole in my pocket, I don't care, do you know why? Because in, long, in the long run, that property is going to be worth maybe 50 grand more, or at least 30 grand more. You gotta think long term. Short term thinking, that's why too many people fail. That's why all them Caribbean shops fail. Because them man there are expected to make money within the first year. No. You should be just hoping to a little bit, or at least break even, or a little bit above break even in the first year. Everyone wants to, so basically, Go and follow the Blue Channel TV, innit? He must have recycled one post. There's one girl, uh, her name's Lin May Talks. She uh, must have put up a video on, I don't know, TikTok or Instagram, whatever, innit? Anyway, and she was talking about people's ideas of business is all wrong and that. And I left a comment, a couple people liked the comment so far, innit? Yeah. And basically I was saying, the reason why businesses fail is because everyone's idea of business is pointing the finger at people and not doing any work and then sit, uh, laying in a, in a hammock, sipping pineapple juice in the Bahamas. That's everyone's idea of a business. That's not the fucking idea. Of, do you know what a business is? You see, you lot, us lot, that work nine to fives and that, yeah, we do 40 hours a week. A business owner is gonna do 60, 70 hours a week. Yeah, people think when they start a business, they get to work less. No, you work fucking more, blood. You're gonna to have to work for your business for virtually nothing. At first, the, 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 the time that you put in, you ain't gonna get paid straight away, no way. Business don't work like that. So, let's say for example, you work a, a nine to five and you get paid 10 pound per hour, you do a 40 hour week, yeah? So you're getting four bills or whatever, innit, yeah? But obviously, God forbid someone has to work for 10 pound per hour, innit, yeah, but anyway. If you're working 70 hours in your business, don't think you're getting paid uh, 10 pounds per hour for all those 70 hours. No, a lot of those 70 hours are for free. 
That's what it takes to get it going. With a YouTube team. Bruv, you're gonna if you're doing a YouTube channel, you're gonna have to fucking make videos for free. For six months, a year, three years like me. But one day I'll pay. So the video is gonna come out in about three hours. I don't know when you lot are gonna see this video, but the video is gonna come out in about three hours. I've scheduled it to be uploaded. But uh, by the time you see this video, you'll have definitely have seen that video more than likely. Um, I'm going through my email address. I've got an email address attached to my YouTube channel called jystv.mail.com. I never check it. Kind of even forgot that existed. I had to check it because I had to reset my password for a limited company that I wanted to shut down. So I had a limited company that I never used. It was active for about two years. Well, it was really inactive, if you get what I'm trying to say. And it was active, but it was inactive for two years. There was no activity, no money was going out, no money was coming in. So I needed to shut it down because it was just a liability. I have to pay 13 pound a year to uh, file the confirmation statement. If I forget to file the confirmation statement, I have to pay 100 pound. So anyway, boom, I've had to reset the password so that I can gain access to the company accounts to shut it down. Then I'm scrolling through the page and I'm seeing an email from a man from HMP YLI Felton asking to use my content to help rehabilitate the youngsters them in jail. So I emailed him back, responded back to it straight away, uh, made a video about it afterwards. And then I phoned up this morning at like half seven. I didn't get to speak to him straight away. Uh, someone answered the phone and said, yeah, let, let me just take down your details. And I think he even kind of knew who I was. Um, so anyway, the guy phoned me back at like, I think he got in work at nine, but he phoned me back at like six past nine, innit? Yeah, so I left him my name, my number, email address, and that, uh, a, a email address that I usually use and that. And he said to me, yeah, it's not just HMP Felton that want to use your thing. Rochester and all these other young people's... Um, prisons and that they want to use your thing as well i said listen yeah you have my full permission yeah tell them that i said you can use it yeah no problem that's how you never know so yeah i might not get paid on this youtube thing you know uh because i'm getting because uh, i ain't got much viewers and and that but you never know my hard work on youtube might allow me to get paid in other ways they might say because i said to them I don't mind going down to the prison to speak to the young people, you know. Obviously, if I go down one, two times, I'll do it for free. Innit? Obviously, eventually, they're going to probably offer, man, yeah, we'll pay you to come down and that. You never know, man might be in schools and that. The hard work, yeah? Hard work in the beginning always pays in the end. But you've got to be willing to work hard in the beginning and work for free or virtually nothing. Nothing comes for free. Nothing comes for free. Innit? Like I said, man was earning £37 a day as an apprentice. Some people will say, oh, fuck that, man. But then would they be in my position to earn 200, 250, 300 pound a day? Use that money to save up to buy two properties in this country or one elsewhere. Sacrifice, man. Got to make sacrifice. Banish that short term thinking and be willing to work for free or virtually nothing. Stay where I've done, man.